Welcome to part 4 of Undertale Genocide Run. Now, you may have immediately noticed that I sound better. Um, yeah, I got tired of my old headset and got myself a proper microphone. Because I was sick of having to talk loudly, but the playback showed me talking rather quietly. Like this, and you know, it wasn't picking up much, so fuck it. Got a nice shiny microphone, and we're gonna go and celebrate that by killing more monsters. Now, if you remember last time, we were killing a lot of dogs, including um, one who got very excited. This is his spot, his little post, and this pile of snow would have been um, a multitude of snowmen had we not killed them, but we did. Because we're dickheads. So, of course, there's more of the same. Now, I'm not sure. There are certain conditions you need to meet at various points in the game to continue the genocide run. Um, I don't want to progress too far without saying much more as to what's ahead. So, I'm going to just kill monsters, like these fellas. Meet Ice Cap and Jerry. Don't remember if we actually saw Ice Cap last time, but Jerry is a special encounter. Emphasis on the special part. And what it says there in the description ain't bluffing. He really does. And all the while he generally hurls abuse at his monster comes. Had praise. It's not necessary to kill Jerry during genocide, but you know, a bit of an arse. And you know, I I like to be fur in these things. Besides, if you need a reason to kill him, just look at them. What is he supposed to be? Some sort of sombrero? Some sort of potato shaped, uh, some sombrero shaped potato with robot eyes and a mustache? I don't fucking know. The lack of a colour palette here really leaves a lot to the imagination. And that's not a good thing in Jerry's case. Really, uh, what I should be doing here actually is this. Uh, goodbye, Ice Cap. Got capped. <clears throat> yeah, Jerry's just still not telling it like it is. This is awkward. Alright. No, mate. You ain't getting a ride home. Huh. Ah. What device is he even using to get Wi-Fi? Suppose they have cell phones, so they must have smartphones as well. Yeah, there's not much exciting here, Jerry. Oh. What am I even doing? Well I don't know mate, you've been struck about ten times. You should be known you should know by now what I'm doing. Goodbye. So, yeah, that was an encounter that happened. Um, I don't know how many other unique monsters there are. I think there's like one more. And then I'm just going to cut to save you guys a grind because I think I've got about 40 more encounters to finish. Bit of a pain, but. You know, murdering everyone's not exactly easy or fun. I would carry on that train of thought, but I think I would get. Um, I think I'd leave people very concerned. Oh. Jerry again, what the hell? Apparently there's more than one Jerry. 
Maybe it's like uh, Gary from that Vault in Fallout 3. There's just lots of Jerry clones. So, Childrake looks kind of familiar, doesn't he? Battles against everything and looking for its friend Snowy. And, uh, no prizes for guessing who Snowy is before I already met them. Defiance can't be defined. Right, he's not wearing a leather jacket. Oh well, this hand says right. Okay, I wasn't paying any attention there. Alright, and now we can just ditch Jerry. Alright, all the other monsters are gone. You need upper corpses ditch Jerry when it looks away. So wait. How much have we got? Yeah. Ten more encounters. I think. Or is that actually just individual monsters? I am uh, not sure. I've not been keeping track. I'll be perfectly honest. The best counter so far has just been when no monster shows up in combat. So I'm gonna try it. Yeah. There's not much here. And we'll see if it goes down from 7 left. Or 9 left. It's gone by battles. Well, no, it must be gone by a number of monsters. So that would make sense. Yeah, they sure ditched you, Jerry. Bye. Okay, we'll check our handy dandy little save point. Yeah, eight left. Okay, that's not so bad. Um, even still, I will cut this now and get back to you when I've killed all the monsters. Welcome back. Here we are. Now, it doesn't actually say zero, but the text changes to this when we have killed everyone. Just determination. Then yeah, you would have to be pretty determined to do what I am doing. Oh, I love that the music's changed again. Just to make me feel nice and happy about the choices I've made. But we can continue now, definitely. Unhindered. Uh, might as well say safe. Yes, to be sure. Okay. Um. Oh yeah. Down here, we've got a lovely snow papyrus. And Sans displaying his usual laziness. It's a cracking snowman, though. Uh, yeah, there's a puzzle here. Something, something nice. You can't change your direction once you're silent eyes. Really easy. But we don't need to do that, because someone has been helping us. Uh, oh, hi, Sans. You're... Oh. Oh yeah, there was one monster that was that's unique to this particular um, screen that I didn't find. It's um, pretty hideous as most as the monsters go in this game. God, the encounter rate goes up ironically when there's nobody here. Um, so we have this little cavern here with these weird squeaky mushrooms and a door with um, the crest on it. If you've been paying attention, you'll notice that crest was on Toriel's robe back in the ruins and it's going to appear quite a bit more throughout the rest of the game 
Okay. So not much there apart from the creepy eye things on the wall and the horrend horrific looking monster. Uh oh, another dog. Must be around here. Somewhere. Ta da! It's another cute little dog. Oh, And then it does this. Oh, what nice music. So jaunty. It's got a nice smiley face in the spear. And the best bullets ever. But, uh, he's a bit of a chump. Despite being um, gigantic. And in full armour. Three hits. Right. Music's normal. Huh. Don't think that should be happening. This road this rope bridge isn't even dropping. How tense must the ropes be? Oh. Sam the gruesome twosome. Oh shit. How, how are the spike the weapons hanging from the ceiling exactly? Keep in mind we're still in a huge underground cavern despite the fauna, so this Pavaris got a stage set up here? Or something? Or has he got that much chain and rope? Well, you know me, sir. Who has a birthday party like that? Goodness gracious. Honestly, if you give me puzzles like Portal, I'd probably stick and do them. Undying. Eh. Okay. Who is she? Of course I know, I'm just trying to um, bluff my ignorance. Probably not working. But yeah. Your friend, your existing friends already appreciate you gracing them with fiendish puzzles that may involve certain death. That's great. I don't think it's really good for making new friends though. Ah, <sighs> Papyrus. What a nut. Yup. Um, okay. That, uh, as Jerry would say, awkward. Gonna have a bad time. Yeah, I'm sure we'll be fine. Welcome to Snowden. Ah. <sighs> I'm sure the locals will be friendly. Oh. See this moment. I need to uh, dump my inventory. Do 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 do. Uh. Do. There we go. Uh. Yes. Yes. Yes, fat. Can take it all. Wait. 
Holy shit! Just doubled my money, basically. Please don't... Oh. Oh dear. Uh, let me do a little quick flip around of items here. So I want to do the, I want to put this on, we want to put on the flip. That'll upgrade for attack and defence and I can get rid of what was there before. Bandage can be used as a healing item, but, oh, um, Oh, I was going to say. Everyone else is in the way. Felt. The thing about a decoy is you probably have to trap a company in it. Hmm. No, we want to go through town. Nothing for me. Oh, no, I'll take it all. Who the hell are you? Oh, you are real. Okay, so I'm down as a guard of some sort. Alright. Music suddenly got upbeat. Normally. There would be a lot of people here, including all the dogs we killed. But of course, we may have murdered everyone, so... Anyone who is alive has pissed off. And rightly so. I will catch up to them. Okay. The Library Bay. Interesting. So yeah, if you notice how the monsters die, they do seem to just kind of fade away into dust. So that would add up to the books here. Bullet pattern birthday card. <laughs> Pretty horrible as a human to have that. And that explains why we are getting stronger and fights are getting easier for us. Nice little exposition dump here, either way. Whether you're killing everyone or just passing by, trying not to harm people. Yeah, he really is. Love, hope, compassion. This is what people say monsters' souls are made of. The absolute nature of soul is unknown. After all, Humans have proven their souls don't need these things to exist. Damn straight. All I've got in is determination. Yeah, let's be nosy. Oh. Okay, that's uneventful. Alright, that was snowed in apparently. Yes, we'll carry on and um, uh, apparently I have to defrost the screen.
Oh no, there's one path I'm walking on. And you're about to pave it. <laughs> oh, this, this feels bad, man. <laughs> I'd love to. Here, <laughs> I should not have laughed at that. Just the way his head lopped off, though, it's just okay. That was cartoony. Um, Jesus Christ. Apparently, Genocide Run was made for me. I'm a bit of a sick bastard to laugh at that. Just decapitated someone, and uh, yeah, feeling pretty good about it. 18 now, okay. Um, I suppose we'll start with you, Buster. Um, who? Oh, wait. Let me guess. It's Undine, isn't it? Hmm. Hang on a minute. There's a door behind there, what the? Can't get to it, though. Okay. Well, next time we are going to go through these caverns and continue the status quo of killing everything. Yeah. <laughs> um, poor Papyrus. Sans is not going to be happy when he finds out. Oh well. I'm sure we won't have a bad time though. This is all just a cinch so far. Alright. Anyway. I'm by the endings, so I'll see you next time.